Hello guys and welcome to a brand new episode of Sound Design, Correlation with the Evolution of Sound. Uh, so before we get started, this is the melody we're going to be used to making the sound. So we, we haven't created the sound, we're going to do it from scratch. This is how it sounds like. So it's a melody off a very popular pack, I believe, by CR2. So um, I decided to use it just to speed things up. Um, so um, we're going to be creating sort of a pluckish type of... Um, sound that they use a lot in the breakdowns for progressive house and um and um and like uh i believe um the left behinds um dear life obviously the danic version and um all these progressive tunes that kind of sort of incorporate a vocal but you know they try and keep it kind of low energy in the breakdown so they use the plucks with a lot of um, reverb and delay in order to get it to kind of just cover so much ground so you only have that plug plane but it still sounds huge um, so that's what we're going to be aiming for um, so straight away um, we're going to be creating this on Spire so if you guys don't use Spire then you should get it it's a very great synthesizer and um, they're always coming out with new updates and you know I feel like this is going to be the next silent one as it's going to be the next synth everyone's going to be using all right, guys, so let's get started straight away. Just make sure that we have the right driver so you guys can hear me, and let's get to it. So um, straight away, we're going to keep the song. We're going to boost the volume up on it, so we want it to sound sort of louder. Uh, we're going to increase voices to around 5. We're not going to try and get that detuned sound that much. And we're going we're gonna to increase the whiteness on it. And then we're going to add another saw. And again, we're going to do the same thing, um, but this one's going to stay in mono so we can cover the center and the and the, wi the wideness because once you put the white up your sound goes straight to the to the side so so this is kind of like a stereo enchanter for just that one oscillator all right so um we're gonna leave this in mono awesome now we're gonna increase relief <laughs> So we want to increase the um, the release just to kind of has, have a sense. So you're like, oh, I thought we were creating a plug. We are. Um, we are creating a plug, but we're going to do it through um, filter modulation, filter enveloping. So it sounds pretty good. Um, let's just change the phase on this one. There we go. So pretty much what phase does, as you can see, you see a, an orange bar start to go across. So what phase does is it changes the the starting point of um, of your wavetable, which is going to be a saw. So as you can see, the higher you go, you kind of get a different release. Like when it comes out, that's when you're going to notice w that something has been phased. All right, so. Um, <laughs> We want to try and keep the detunement loud because then uh, we don't want to really create a, a kind of super soft pluck. Alright, there we go. So I went into the Scorpio filters and I added a, a red low pass 4. Um, these are my favorite filters by the way. Um, uh, the Scorpio ones, the one that were red LP and the black ones, are oh, they always sound so nice and huge compared to the Perfecto ones. But the Perfecto ones are do have their you know their uses sometimes. But since we want this to be kind of big because we want it to cover a big you know area when it's like quiet to, to add kind of like lower energy but still have a good melody. Um, that's what we're trying to achieve. So we want the bigger filter, of course. <laughs> add another saw this time we're gonna do nine voices though and we're gonna detune a little bit more than usual and put it in the middle and we should be fine around there okay awesome so now we're gonna do is add a lot of reverb Thank you. 
awesome. So pretty much what I was doing is I was trying to get the the background of the reverb to not sound like that much as the the thing we were playing because then it would kind of just ruin that moment. So um, two ways you can do this: we can keep using the reverb from Spire, which has its its own characteristics. It's a play type, so it's gonna give you that effect we just heard. Or we can just go straight into the Ableton reverb, um, and we'll add our own reverb to it, so it sounds way better. <laughs> So we take the high cut and the spin off, we put it in high quality, we're going to remove diffusion network, which is pretty much going to, you know, add a low pass or a high pass to um, what the noise coming out. So the more, if I if I open that high pass up, as you can see, um, we get more of those highs coming out. So we're going to turn those off, we don't want to really, you know, filter. And then uh, we're going to put a little bit of chorus, and then um, we're going to increase maybe the size just a back and increase the K time. Alright, let's turn uh, the low diffusion actually, the high one here, and we're going to kind of cut a little bit of the highs. And there we go. For, for some reason, whenever you hear like high reverbs and stuff, you kind of think of the drop already, so it's like a, you know, like you have that sh 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 sh. And sometimes it works great in breakdowns, but when it comes to these progressive house breakdowns, um, the purpose of them is to bring the energy down and have people, you know, just get into that state of, of you know, like that emotional state because melodies are meant to make people you know sing along some melodies sound sad some sound happy some sound in the middle some sound epic and the ones that hit the most are you know emotional you know type like the left behind melody and the actual tokyo by night um and and you know you don't want that you don't want that white noise ruining it because it's just like a sh 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 which will be something you would hear in the in the drop so that's just my opinion you can have that sh present if you have like a really like a, a vinai type um breakdown i guess where where you know you're not rolling the energy back down you're just trying to get people a little <laughs> resting time before we go at it again hard as fuck so um that's what we did here we took a little bit of the high reverb bow. so we're not going to use the reverb from spire just for this part now we're going to add some delay so what we want is actually going to use a ping pong delay instead of this delay as well so we want it after the reverb if you put it after the reverb um you're gonna you're gonna ping pong the reverb as well all right energy drink break <laughs> all right guys so um let's see um so we were at here so we we're gonna put that ping pong delay All right, so we're gonna kind of um, lower the the speed of this actually, because we we really just wanted to you know make that. Thing. All right, so I'm loving that ping pong effect. So, so you can choose to have the ping pong effect or not. So it's all it's all on to you. Um, just keep in mind that the delay in general is just gonna you're just gonna hear the 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 pluck go dun, 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 you know just together and not side to side so ping pong delay is gonna add a lot more complex you know so if you don't have much going on and, and you want people to hear that kind of cool effect then you can always have the ping pong if not we can turn it off and just go with the one from uh, spire <laughs> So, um, no shaper, maybe a bit of chorus. There we go. Alright, awesome. We're gonna get rid of some of the lows though. And then we're gonna kinda make this a little bit mellow. So now we can boost a little bit of the highs. And there we go. 
Now, um, if I were to choose sort of like a, a very chord, a chord pattern, which I hope they have. Nope. I'm sure they have a chord pattern. So now we hear that. So it's a very cool sound. You can do so much with it. You can even open it up into a lead. Um, so with that, with this done, um, pretty much that concludes our pluck episode. So just to do a little bit of a, of a, of a review of what we did. First off, we created the sound, which is going to be this sound. Which was pretty much like the most important part because if you have a shitty sound like this, your plug's not going to sound nice. So next thing we did is we, we put a filter on it. So it sounds like this with the filter. Nothing coming out. Next, we applied some envelope to make it come out. As you can see. So what the filter did is gave it warmness. And then when you envelope it, you have the sound going through the filter. It sounds huger and it and sounds so good. And um, we added some reverb from Ableton, some delay, a little bit of chorus, not so much, mode 2. And we, we did an X comp on it to kind of make everything sound united. So this is, this is a compressor and we just EQ'd it a bit. So this has been Sound Design episode God knows what. And I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Please make sure to like the evolution of sound. Make sure to like this tutorial as well. I'm going to be making more like this. Um, and I'll still keep up the artist recreations. But I feel like these are more useful for you guys. So as always, guys, have fun. Make something and enjoy yourselves. <laughs>